everyone, welcome back to Katarina's Garage. My name is Katarina Lloyd and well, good news on this Capri, obviously I made it home, made it home flawlessly. So if you didn't see so, a couple of my updates is this car was actually having major issues, like getting really clackety under the hood, um, dropping oil pressure and stuff like that and I'm like... <laughs> I was really debating on if I didn't want to actually spend the money on oil or not for this car just because I have a spare motor and I just kind of wanted to do that potentially but now that means that I can build up the motor that's all good it's just a spare engine as well if you know the motor in my Mustang dies which is over there or in the Mustang or in the motor in this Capri dies I've got that spare motor we just need to kind of go through it and make sure it's all good but anyway so today though because now it's getting the fuel economy that it should because this thing was getting close to about 16 miles to the gallon. Um, now, whenever I fill it up next, it should be right around 23, 24, which is not bad. Um, peak of my 81 Mustang prior to me doing any of the modifications to it was actually, I got as much as 26. My dad managed to get 28, but he was mostly going about 80 kilometers an hour, give or take on a cruise that he did in my car so there's that but uh yeah i know like this this is you know my 81 capri i just recently picked this thing up and uh i traded my convertible for it which you might think of why i did that well it's just this is a more usable car for me and i kind of do owe keith a bit of money so i think at this point it should be that should be eliminated because of the value difference between the cars um and then you know He's also keeping this under his name, so I don't actually have to pay for the insurance or anything like that on it. So it's quite convenient in that regard. However, there still is a problem, and I this is the only way how I can figure out if it's going to be, well, not the tires, without spending the money, because again, I don't have the money right now, but I'm going to be swapping the wheels over to these uh, black stars here. Uh, compared to the CSAs that are currently on it. So let's get into doing that, which is just give me a time lapse so you know you'll get the idea. So as you can see, you know, just changing out the wheels here, like I mentioned I was doing, the, going from the CSA 1622s to these Keystone Black Stars, because I was trying to test this theory, like I mentioned earlier in the video, of if the shake that I had in the car was from the tires or not. Now this whole thing only took me about 22 minutes and uh, footage here is only 28 seconds so you know it was actually not too long a time at all. Um, using an impact makes a lot of difference for time wise. Well and here we go so now these Keystone uh, I believe they're called Black Stars. I've been told differently by other people but I don't really know like <sighs> doesn't matter. Um, anyway so yeah the Keystone Black Stars are on the car they're a little dirty but they look really good on here. Like, they were the wheels that came actually on that car when I bought it. Different tires. Now this tire is a little low, which I'm going to adjust that. But other than that, you know, they look freaking fantastic on here to be honest. So, well, now I got to see how this thing actually goes. If that fixed that shake or not. So now we are checking, or at least I'm checking, to see if the shake was from the tires or if it's something else. Because I was underneath this car and I couldn't really find anything else. And, you know, I tightened the lug nuts as well earlier today and just went for a quick burn and still not. So let's see how this goes, to be honest. I'm just going to head down the river road here and uh, get it up to speed because usually I can. And that's the one thing, because it's a pretty quiet road overall, and I'm not going to disturb anybody, so... I could take it out onto the highway entirely, but I'd rather not at the moment. So, let's see how this goes. Squeal. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, no, it's 
still kind of here. Like, it's not much. Although, actually, that might be a little better, though. That actually might be better. Yeah, I think that actually is. So, okay, maybe the tires... Ah, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Like, there still is that shake, guaranteed, a little bit, so... This is a, this is me pondering of, you know, what, uh, what this could really be, because it still could be the U-joints, I suppose, but they seemed okay, like, looking at them, they were old, definitely. Could they re be replaced? Probably, but it didn't, like, there didn't seem like any play or anything in the drive shop, so, I don't know. So that's something though to ponder and to figure out for the future but I mean I've got you know these uh, really cool wheels on the car now um, you know like and I, the CSAs are really cool as well but I don't know I might just keep these and while they don't have I will say so they're slightly wider as and also slightly slightly taller like the other ones are 195 70 uh, 14s, well, these are 205 70 14. So there's a little bit of difference there. Um, so a little wider, a little taller, but not by much. It's going to be like by, you know, like, a f I don't even know, quarter of an inch maybe taller and 10 millimeters wider. So there you go. But, you know, it's just one of the things with this car right now. And it just, it has this, such a good look to it. You know, if I just do this, but that, there we go. So, I mean, while that didn't fix the shake exactly, like, I don't know, I felt almost a little better, but still not, or maybe that was just me thinking it was better, but really it's about the same. And, they, and again, it's such a minor, minor, minor shake, right? So that's why I didn't really think anything of it. Um, but now I'm like, hmm, it just makes me ponder of what it is. But, you know, and now I got the black stars on the car, which I love these these wheels. The tires, though, uh, they're not as good. They're only Westlake compared to the other ones that are BF Goodriches. So I am decreasing tire um, quality, technically. But it's kind of fun because you heard me going around that corner. I wasn't really going that fast and the tires were squawking, which is hilarious. These tires are, you know, if you go around corners really quick, they'll start to understeer a lot more than those we have good riches. So again, these are just a cheapy economy tire. That's all they are. They're not anything special, but also because these are slightly taller, again, slightly, I'll get slightly better economy on the highway too, because you know, the RPMs are going to be a little lower. So again, but minorly, it's going to be like, maybe 50 or even 100 rpm if that even so you know where the tires that were on the car i think they were 25 inches flat these might be like 25.4 something like that i'm not too sure i'd have to do the calculations on that but uh yeah well i mean i got a killer looking wheel and actually hang on one second let me make these look a little nicer on camera all right, I just cleaned a couple of these wheels up. Not the tires yet, but check out how that looks. That's It's not even perfect, right? It's just straight up, you know, just with a little bit of wheel cleaner and some Scott's towels and look how much that shines. And again, it's not perfect. Like I could buff these out and make them real, real shiny. But uh, most of the car is dirty and stuff like that. And again, the tires, I got some tires shine, but I'm not gonna use it right now and just, you know, it's one of these things though, of uh, if you can make your vehicle look just like a little bit better with stuff, you can honestly, really like if, if I was selling this car, because I would just clean this thing a lot and actually hang on. Sorry, I just spotted something out of the corner of my eye over here. There was a moose, which where'd it go? How did such a big creature just disappear? There was, I think, a bull moose, antlerless, that uh, we're just walking back there. But regardless, 
you know, out here there's a bunch of cool old cars and like me and Greg revived that uh, Dodge the other day. There, It's a 65 Dodge D100 slant six and stuff. It's really cool. Um, there's a couple of leaks, but I know actually how to fix both of those leaks. So it's a very simple thing. I just need to find that gasket and then I need to tell Greg how much it costs and uh, go from there. So anyways, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, and if you're wondering how long did that actually take me to swap out the wheels, only 22 minutes. So that's me with an impact gun with limited ener energy and I was able to do that. So um, if I can do it, you can probably do it too. So yeah, um, and I took a couple of small breaks in between too. You saw me probably chugging a bunch of a uh, car raid. So anyways, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, no, please like the video. Comment anything you want to see down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as well, if you want to contact me, you can at Katarina's Dark Garage on Instagram, Katarina's Garage on Facebook. As well, follow me on TikTok at Katarina's Dark Garage as well. Anyways, hope you're staying safe during COVID-19. Good luck with good luck with, uh, with whatever you're working on. And I'll catch you. Thanks video. Bye. Peek-a-boo.